Welcome to Lindyvana. I'm Gabby, this is Sam, and together with our Sprinter Van, we invite you along on our van life adventures. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Oh yes, welcome back to the channel guys, it's a pleasure to have you joining us once again. It's been a while since we've made a video and it's been a while since we've travelled in the van. So we're really excited to share this journey with you. We're going from the UK over to Lithuania. We've not travelled at all in the last year pretty much. So we're really excited to go and see Gabby's family for the first time in over a year. So we're on the train. We've got half an hour and then we're on the other side. How are we doing? Good. Oh, he's doing very well. We got through all the checks and everything fine. It was a bit nerve wracking that patch um, ch checking or whatever that was. Well, it's because he's only recently had his rabies check and stuff. A rabies jab, but it was all good. Very easy, very straightforward. To be honest, no more different than usual. The, uh, especially the French guy, the French border patrol guy, he couldn't have been more laid back to be honest. <laughs> Would you like our declaration? Would you like a negative test? Yeah. Would you like this? They're like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, uh -huh. and then on we went. We took the van on the Euro tunnel over to France with the intention of then driving all the way across Europe towards Lithuania. We've done it a few times before, but not with COVID, not with a dog, and not since Brexit. When I increase profits by 17%, or when I cut expenses without losing a single employee. I think this part of the journey has been a little bit nerve-wracking because we had to pull our trip forward by one week, so it was a bit of a ramble coming up to today, packing, getting basically ready, getting all the paperwork, tests and time. There's been kind of lots of timing um, working out so I'm really glad to be on the train it's actually a huge relief so we're just approaching France now we're gonna be there in literally two minutes I think um, we're just gonna give Basie his dinner it's almost 8 p.m. Um, and uh, yeah hopefully he can eat that before we head off towards Germany so we s we're gonna try and get to the same spot that we stayed in last year when we did this journey it's a, like an old um, abandoned metal factory or something uh, it's pretty cool but uh, yeah so far so good the journey is going well we've had loads of issues with the van recently uh, the fuel filter was leaking and then the fuel filter housing was leaking also um, so I had to replace uh, an o-ring in the fuel filter and also the fuel filter housing which is a very common problem in sprinters apparently um, because we were losing loads of coolant. I also got the oil seal on the diff replaced as well because that was leaking oil everywhere and unfortunately Mercedes did it incorrectly the first time and I lost a litre of oil from the diff in about five miles. Um, it was pissing out everywhere so that's all replaced now everything seems fine the van's running properly we got about 35 miles to the gallon on the way to Folkestone so uh, hopefully hopefully onwards and upwards we're just coming into Calais <laughs> and the train is pretty all over the place and he's just been standing there trying to eat oh and he's eating again brilliant you can see how much he's moving around <laughs> just trying to stand up bless him hunger one over the movement more hungry than he is bothered about the movement since brexit the rules have changed on traveling with a pet we now need an animal health certificate from the vets now the cost of this can vary dramatically from our normal vets it was 250 pounds but we managed to find it much cheaper elsewhere for 65 pounds you have to pay for this every single time you want to travel to europe so while we're in lithuania we're going to be getting basie a european pet passport and then we won't need to do this again in the future. If you've got a puppy, get them one of these. It's condensed yak milk. They love it. Basie loves it. Yeah. In the meantime, we have come to the other side of the tunnel. How many miles? I don't know yet. We've got no internet. Oh, 20 hours. 20 hours. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you, Frenchman, train person. <gasps> and we are on the 
other side. What? 1,202 miles to go. Let's do this. Another big challenge with travelling this year was of course COVID. But since Gabby and I are both fully vaccinated, we didn't have to worry about giving any excuses to the border control for travelling. You can pretty much travel throughout Europe if you're fully vaccinated anywhere. And luckily this rule came into action about three or four days before we left for our trip. So that made it a lot easier. We also had to provide a negative test result, I think three days before we left the UK. It's 1am, we've just arrived. There's a few other vans parked here, which is nice. But I'm knackered. So we're going to sleep. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Well, we had a wonderful night's sleep uh, at this location once again. We stayed here last year, as I mentioned before, um, and yeah, it was it was fantastic then, and it's even better this time, I'd say. Um, we didn't get here until like 1 a.m. last night, um, and uh, yeah, went straight to bed, fell straight asleep, slept like a baby, got up at seven o'clock this morning, or eight o'clock German time, and uh, yeah. Just coming out for a walk. Enjoy the sunshine, glorious day. So this is where we've stayed. It's this old abandoned factory or whatever it is. It's actually a park. And I think there's a skate park over there. So if there's any van lifers that enter skating or BMX and stuff, then this might be a good spot to have a little sesh. But yeah, it's gorgeous here. But we've got the motorway just behind us. But I'm on this big mound that sort of separates the car park from uh, the motorway so yeah you can't hear anything basically drop it drop it basically drop it drop it good boy good boy good boy you want some chicken you want some chicken oh yes there you go good boy i'm gonna try and make it to berlin this afternoon and then over the border into poland uh tonight uh, to sleep, we need to cover about five, six hundred kilometers, uh, five, six hundred miles today, and then we should get to Lithuania in good time tomorrow evening. So this is where we stayed last night. There's a few other vans here. There's a really nice four by four Sprinter just in front of us. Um, but yeah, a van got here in one piece yesterday, which was good. And now we're about to have some breakfast. It's good that we made some granola the other day. Trying to go homemade granola in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Betty is really hungry. He just had three clues. So lovely. Lots of room for a new day. Did you sleep well? Uh, not really, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, I feel like I, I, I had too many snacks. Too many night. snacks? Yeah. We had some Pringles and some chocolate mini roll things on the way but hey we're in the van and I'm gonna lock him up before he goes disappearing good morning everybody we stayed at this beautiful spot in the service station in next to a lake next to a lake <laughs> um, in Poland last night we're about 100 kilometers away from Warsaw so we've not got a massive amount to do today I think about just like a normal day job <laughs> seven and a half hours <laughs> yeah seven hours ish to be honest so uh, yeah we're gonna head off now basically slept quite well although he's been uh, itching and a bit uh, irritated the last couple of hours. Maybe a bit anxious as well. Yeah, anxious, but it's understandable. There's a lot of changes for him, so. Yeah. Yes. Let's see how he is when we get there. Yes. But no problems in the night at all. Super quiet. Just in this car park of a service station, backing onto the fields and stuff. So, yes, let's make a move. Let's go.
whole journey. Yeah. No, more than that. More than only, that. We've only got 292 miles to go. So Out of? I think when we started from home, it's about 1,400. Wowza. So yeah, about 200 miles in the UK. Maybe not that much, actually. And then 1,200 from Calais to Vilnius. So we've done 900 miles between Calais and here, and now just 300 to go. Not bad. Not bad at all. And this journey's been a lot easier than it has been in the past. We, I, th I think big difference was that we didn't drive last night late. Yeah, and we're a lot more familiar with the trip now because we've done it a few times, so it's uh, it's quite easy. It's long, but quite easy. Facey done quite well as well. Facey's done super well. He had a couple little tantrums, but he's only a pup, so it's expected from him to have a little tantrums every now and then because being strapped in this seat is not particularly interesting. And we took him for a big walk in the morning. Well, two big walks in the morning. And uh, and he had his zoomies. We got that out of him, played with him for half an hour, and then yeah, he seems to have settled down quite well. Good boy. And now let's get to Lithuania. It's a long tunnel, isn't it? Thanks, Google. Being a bit of a touristy route today. I don't know why it took us off the motorway and got us on these cobbled roads. Not the most comfortable, but pretty. Really? Whatever that is, it's nice. Is it a church? Yeah, it looks like a church. I guess every now and then you just gotta go with it. Very interesting, to be honest. I think we're oh, what hopefully relief. back on tarmac. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, what a journey that was, 48 hours door to door, couldn't have gone much better. While we were in Lithuania, I'm going to probably try and make a few more videos because I really enjoy making videos and we've not made any in a while. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one, over and out.